Hi, and welcome to SlideHub. When building a deck, you usually start by creating a storyline. SlideHub is a tool that helps you find your company's best practice digital assets, so you can go into the company library to browse through all of the approved content that you can then use to build your presentation. Then, use the other features like inspiration slides, icons, and images to fill in the rest. End users can access the platform via any modern web browser and is now also available within Microsoft Teams. Or you can also access it directly from PowerPoint by using the platform add-in for easier access. The add-in gives direct access to different types of PowerPoint assets. In this video, we will cover the most used assets and associated functions that will help you build better slides faster. Let's dive into the most used tool. The direct access to an entire library of your company's best practice slides and presentations, handpicked by managers so all your presentations will always be on brand. You can find single slides that you can use to mix and match, and build an entire deck in a matter of minutes. Or reuse entire presentations. They are labeled with a red clip on the top right corner, and you can also find them in the Presentations tab. These can be downloaded as a whole, or go into the presentation and select which slides you would like to use. The slides are divided into different categories created by managers, and each category can also include as many subcategories as needed. You can also see slides specific to any team you may be a part of, or save slides to your favorites for easier access by clicking on the Start button underneath. On this menu, you also have access to recently used slides, as well as updated slides and your company's uploaded templates. Once you find what you're looking for, it can be inserted directly into PowerPoint. When working with company slides, the add-in will automatically scan them to check for any changes made since it was downloaded and warn you of any updates. You can choose to ignore the updated slide or insert the most recent version of the slide to compare and select the most appropriate version for you to use. You can also use the search functionality to quickly find slides in the library. The search automatically looks in the content of the slides. as well as any tags added by the library administrator. Within each result, assets are sorted based on how frequently they have been downloaded. To further filter your search, you can use AND when typing keywords, to show results specific to the keywords you're searching for. When clicking in any given category, the free text search will only show results within the selected category. This screen also gives you different options of showing content. Select different sizes to show larger or smaller slides. Or toggle between slide sizes to show only content in one screen format or in standard format. When working on a document, you can also use a different search feature directly on your slide. Just select the word you would like to look for and right click it. Select find item via slide hub and I'm going to choose to find a slide. This will take me to all the results with the word pricing in it, and you can also use this feature to search for icons, images, or illustrations. Another feature is access to inspiration slides to use when you have some content on your slides that need some enhancement. In the home screen, you can find all the most recently added, and they're also divided by the most used uh, categories such as bullet points, processes, or funnels. The search functionality works the same way as in other assets, so using the word AND to include multiple keywords and refine your search.
You can also browse through all the slides within each category or hold down the control key on your keyboard to select between multiple subcategories. Even though we have over 3000 slides to choose from in our library, please let us know if there are any styles or categories missing that you would feel be beneficial for you or your organization, and we'll be happy to fulfill your request. When working with company slides, you can select to insert the slides with your company's color palette. To do this, you can click on the top right button that says select colors. And it will ask you if you want to have custom colors enabled or not. By having this feature disabled, the slides are inserted in a default template and colors, but it will require, require a lot more manual formatting. By enabling custom colors, the slides will automatically adjust to the template selected that has been previously formatted with a specific color, font, and icon settings defined by a manager. Slides are completely editable and they can be ungrouped and manipulated to fit what you need. Let's say for example that you have a 5-step customer journey that needs to look like a funnel. You can search through all the ones in this category, or you can refine your search by clicking on the subcategories on top. Then, find the slide that best fits your presentation and insert it directly into the slide. You can now modify this group to edit and best fit to your company's ballot and branding. You can then finalize your slide by adding icons, images, or illustrations. The add-in gives you access to off-the-shelf icons in a list of predefined styles. The full list is displayed on the left-hand side of the menu, and search by using keywords to find the icon that best fits your content. You can also find any company icons uploaded to the library. Another feature to enhance your slides is access to a full library of royalty-free high-definition images. The search can be refined by selecting the orientation of the pictures, as well as any overall colors to best match your template. you can also browse through your company's uploaded images for more on-brand assets. Illustrations are a more creative way to enhance your presentations. They are also available in a wide variety of styles and can be ungrouped and completely manipulated to change size or color and remove any unnecessary elements. Once you have a finished slide that could also work for your colleagues, use the Contribute feature to add it to your company's library. This will help not only you to keep the slide for later use, but also your colleagues will find it very beneficial and you can show off your skills to the rest of your team. When the slide is done uploading, you can then go in and add any comments if needed or relevant labels to help the categorization of your slides.
In this window, you can also review the status of any previous contributions and see who are the top contributors from your organization and create a snowball effect to increase the size of your company's library. You also have the option to add the slide to your personal vault, which can be accessed only by you. You can access your personal library by going into Insert Personal Slides. And you can also manage your settings to who has access to these slides. Finally, in the other section of the add-in, you can find a quick tutorial to guide you through the tool. You also have direct access to the Help Center and Customer Success Team, or you can go into your profile to manage any settings and notifications. We recommend that you always keep this button toggled on so SlideHub will start as default on any documents that were previously worked on while using the add-in. This will help you work faster and keep track of any company slides that you may have been using. And that's it, thank you so much for watching and please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions.